I created a tool that works just like a Slayer Master to assign myself combat tasks. This means I will be locked out of almost any monster in the game, so I must complete my current assignment in order to unlock new content. If I skip or complete the wrong task, I must pay a fee and by the end of the series the total amount will be given to the community. Can I beat all combat tasks and become a Grandmaster? My name is Vanaka and this is Combat Achievement Locked. Are you ready? Let's begin! Welcome back everyone to Combat Achievement Locked. I just realized that my recorder was off and that's a real bummer because if you look in my inventory and in the chat box, I got a 1 mil drop, a double trouser parchment, which is kind of a useless item right now, but it was so cool to see, to see that on the floor and yeah, I just didn't record it. So that kind of sucks, but my bank is now worth a bit more. And there is level 42 Slayer, my friends. Looking great, only eight more levels to go. One more hit, guys, for level 47 hit points. There it is, 47, nice. There we have it, level 43 Slayer, seven levels to go. It's still a long way, but we are getting there. Let's go, level 56 strength. Oh, and there I finally ended the task. It took much longer than I wanted it to, but you know, Crystallia tasks are not so easy, especially on this low-level account, but it is better than those bad tasks from Venica or most of the time Jor-El, so I want to go and get another one. You know, if I can get lucky enough to get a 5-task streak, I will get 25 Slayer points each time I complete a task, which is super, super great. So let's see if we can do this task. Oh my goodness, I am sorry, but no, that is a that is a real no. Sorry, we're not gonna do that. All right, let's go and kill some black demons. Okay, so the reason I changed my mind is because I made some money from the Ankus and because of that I was able to buy runes. Uh, black demons have a very bad defense against magic and these guys in this uh, dungeon right here have a pretty good chance of dropping Larian's keys, rune chain bodies, rune swords. I can make a lot of my money back and maybe even make a profit and I also want 50 magic so that's like a win-win, right? Let's go and kill a couple and see how that will go. Level 43 magic. Let's go guys, a rune sword. That means we already made the money back for 1k casts, even more than that, so that is good. And there is 44 magic and also another kill. We get a rune dagger, not bad, not bad. And yet again, another magic level to 45 this time. I can now teleport to Camelot. All right, I finished the second trip. We got some loot again, not as great as the first one, but let me go and sell this rune dagger and rune sword and then buy some new runes. I actually went to a free-to-play world for this because these are free-to-play items anyways. Let's sell the rune dagger and the rune sword and we got 17,000 gold. Ooh, a ring of wealth scroll. That is interesting. I mean, of course, I don't have a ring of wealth yet, but that will come in the future. And there is level 44 Slayer. Sulfur Lizards, not bad. And also a magic level once again, 46, only four more levels to go. Thank you very much, Rune Medhelm. Once again, a very nice drop. I'm just waiting for that Rune Chain Body now. 47. I am not sure what is going on here exactly, but I got three Slayers and Shamans already from this task alone, I believe. So, wow. 48 magic. Well, what do we have here? Another hard clue scroll. The second step is northeast of Berg the Rot, but for this I have to do in aid and in search of the Myri Key, I believe. And I don't really want to do that right now, so I'm just gonna go and drop this clue scroll. Sure, why not? Level 49 Mage. I need some more cash, so I'm gonna sell a Rune Sword and Rune Medhelm so I can buy more spells. But first, let's lure these guys out of the building. Sell this, sell that, and we got 24k. That is not bad. Okay, now it's really getting ridiculous. What is the drop chance on a Slayer's Enchantment? Is it more rare than a Laren's Key or not? Because this is just weird. It's like the fourth one. I saw the guy coming, but I misclicked on the logout button. So I have no food. I'm going to die. I mean, it's okay. It's just a couple of runes, but it still sucks. And there's level 45 Slayer. Only five levels to go. We have unlocked Infernal Mages. Ooh, 
a Laren's key and a clue scroll all in one. That looks juicy. Thank you very much. Let's go and open that chest. We're almost at the chest. What will it be this time? 182 gold ore. That is decent, I guess. Can't use that right now, but will be useful in the future. My second step on this clue scroll is a fairy ring code. I have no access to that yet, but I will do that soon. So I'm going to keep my clue in the bank and soon complete fairy tale part one, start part two, and make sure to get access to fairy rings. And there is level 50 magic. When I said I was going for 50 magic, I actually meant I was going for 49 so I can do ruby and shan spells. But having level 50 is also very nice because now I can do Ivan Blast after completing the quest underground pass. I can do snare, magic dart, and of course we'll just keep training magic to unlock more teleports and useful spells in general. 51 magic, I can now teleport to Artie after completing Plague City. I'm really happy with this drop because I was starting to run out uh, on money and I need more to buy more runes soon. So I'm still hoping for that rune chain body. Oh, that's pretty sick. I totally forgot about this drop. A rune full helm. Let's go. The rune chain body. There it is. Beautiful drop. Nice. I got so much money back now. I totally forgot about a lot of eddy items in my bank. So I'm going to sell this to the bandit shop as well. And also a rune sword and see how much money we get. And then once again, buy runes. 30k. That's decent. 52 magic. All right. So I'm going to get killed again. Don't even care to run away because what is there to lose? I mean, I spend almost all my runes. Of course, I lose 50 chaos runes. And yeah, well, that's that's okay. Are you guys ready for level 50 hit points? Only one more hit. There it is, level 50, halfway to 99. Of course, not really, but I like to stay optimistic. Level 46 Slayer, 53 magic, 54 magic. So many Slayers and Shanmans, but at least there's a Rune Sword in his drop as well. Honestly, I wish I hadn't looked this up, but it looks like a Slayer's Enchantment is a 1 in 195 drop and a Laren Ski is 1 in 82. Well, guess what? I got only one Laren Ski and five Slayer's Enchantments from this task and I killed 100 of them. That is so weird. We are about to hit level 55 magic and this is actually a very nice level to have because then I will unlock high level alchemy. Let's see where it is. Here it is. And that means I will not have to go to the bandit store every time again to sell my items for high alk value. So that is actually beautiful. I need a couple more hits. Then we get 55. And also we are almost done with the black demon task. It took very long but it is so worth it in the end. There we go, 55 magic, and now let's quickly finish the desk before the update is here. Can we get something special on the last kill? Not really. Only two more tasks and then I will start receiving points. The only tasks I don't want is a fire giant task and a greater demon task because by getting these I will complete combat achievements that I can't do yet. So let's go and see what we're gonna get. Magic Axes. That is actually quite easy. Okay, there's only one small problem. I need a lockpick to enter the area and the only way for me to get a lockpick now, or well the fastest way, is to train my thieving to level 32 and then steal from rogues in the wilderness. They sometimes give you a lockpick. There are other ways to get it, but it will take longer, so I think this is the best way to go for now. I quickly did this Bob random event because since my fishing level is 1, I will get some experience to level 7, I think? Let me see. Yep, there it is, level 70, uh, 7 fishing, not 70. <laughs> and there it is, the lockpick. That didn't take too long. Alright, I just missed the level, but we've got 47 slayer and also 41 attack before that. Three levels to go. Oh, what? A Laren ski? From a magic axe? That's like a 1 in 500 drop, no way, you've got to be kidding me. Well, let's go and open that straight away. That's so sick. What is it gonna be? 172 dragon arrow tips. Well, that is not gonna be useful for a very long time. Level 42 attack. And level 43 attack. And 58 combat. Magic axis completed. Please let it be a task I can do to get my first slayer points. Here we go. 
and we get hellhounds. I guess I can do it, but it's not a great task. Let me think about this. I have decided that I'm gonna go and do the task because it is a guaranteed completion of the task, which means I will get Slayer points. I made more money from, from the Black Demons so I can buy runes and I will train even more magic. I can get hard clue scrolls, maybe even some Laren's keys. Like it's a pretty boring task, but it's XP wise not that bad. So let's just go for it. Now I can use high level alchemy, so I don't have to go to the bandit store anymore. Well, here we go, 75k. I bought 5k fire strike. Let's see if that's enough to complete the entire task. Level 56 magic. Let's go for level 48 slayer. Beautiful, two levels to go. There is 52 hit points. Level 57 magic. I'm starting to become a real magician. <laughs> I've been grinding out this task almost till the end. There's only four kills left. We've got 58 magic and 49 slayer. And as you can see, we're very close to 59 magic as well, which means fire blast. That is not too bad. And I also got some Laren keys. So that is quite interesting. Let me go and get level uh, 59 magic, then finish the task and then open those chests. Let's go, 59. We did it, we made it through the Hellhound task and we got our first Slayer points, 25. And now it is important to keep that streak going. It will be great because that gives me the opportunity to skip tasks in the future if I really need to. So let's go and get a new task. But first, open the Laren's chest. I am really hoping for some cash. Please let it be like rune play bodies or rune play legs or whatever. First one is 17 runite ore that is so useless right now. And the second one is three rune play, play bodies. Let's go. That's 115k, guys. That is sick. Oh, yes, that is what I needed. Thank you very much. Okay, I think it's now time to go and elk these rune plate bodies and pay the first part of the open fee from the first episode. As you guys may remember, I killed the deranged archaeologist with magic only. This was a medium task, I completed that on accident, but for that I have to pay a fee of 600k and for as long as I don't pay this fee, I will not be able to skip any tasks in the assigning tool that I created. And especially in later stages of the account, it is very important to be able to skip tasks every now and then, because sometimes a task is incredibly hard to complete at a certain point, and I just have to start paying the debt. So I'm gonna go and elk these, and then I will turn them into platinum tokens. We ended up with 117k. I'm gonna put that in a bank, and I'm gonna grab 100k, and use that on the banker to turn it into platinum tokens. There we go, 100 platinum tokens, 500 to go. And now it's time to go back to Crystallia, which may potentially be the last task we have to do until 50 Slayer. Let's once again just hope it's not Fire Giants or Greater Demons. Here we go. 100 Anku. I mean, it's not the best task. It was a pretty long task previous time, but I think this will do. This will get us to level 50 and it will get a Slayer point, so I will take it. Okay, I wasn't paying attention, but I crossed the wilderness ditch and I had my auto retaliate on and I was so close to 44 attack, so I actually leveled up my attack and my combat level. Nice. I tried to do some kills with ranged, but I don't think that is the best idea. The DPS isn't that great, so I'm going to switch back to melee. Now that I think about it, I may be able to speed up the process by poisoning all the Ankus in the room and then killing them all at the same time. I mean, let's see if that works. Well guys, it looks like it is working. This is simply perfect. I just did a first trip and I'm averaging 7000 Slayer XP per hour. I mean, that is pretty good, let's be honest. I mean, I've been averaging about 3k an hour with my regular methods, so I'm really loving that poisoning method. I've got them all lined up. This is going perfect. Let's go, a magic shortbow scroll. That is pretty sick. Nice drop. Level 45 attack. Once again, another attack level to 46 this time. And there it finally is, guys. Level 50 Slayer. It took me quite long, but we can finally go and kill a Bloodveld. I cannot wait, guys. Let's go. All that grinding for this incredibly easy kill. I can just AFK and watch. 
my character killed the Bloodfeld. And that is the final hit. Task completed, the demonic punching bag. Alright, so now it's time to officially complete this task. Before I do that, there's two things I want to say about this uh, overview. Some people have asked me if there is a dark mode for this. Uh, I've only created this in a light mode. I can take a look into making a dark mode. Me personally, I kind of like this the way it is, but maybe I can do that if you guys really want me to. And I also got another question from people saying, can you just complete a task and assign the task in the same overview instead of switching back to the in-game uh, screen? I can do that. So let me just give you the example. I can go and click the complete task button like right uh, now. There we go, demonic punching bag completed. And now I can immediately click on the assign button and we get Saragnus novice. No way, that is the next task. Kill Saragnus 10 times. I'm gonna have to take a look into that, but I may actually wanna go and put that into the task storage. Wow. So I've been thinking and I think that I should put the task in the task storage because even if I do want to kill Saragnus right now, the boss is just way too strong. I will have to train up so many levels and I really want to try and complete other tasks first. Now keep in mind though that I do have a task storage but that is only for one task. So if I put this one in the task storage, it means that if I get another task that I don't want to do, I am forced to complete that task. Normally, I would have the option to skip that task by paying a fee, but since we are already in debt, I cannot skip another task. So, it is a risk, but at the same time, that is what the series is about. I just have to make choices, make decisions. So, I will put it in the task storage. Let's move to the Excel file. Um, if I click on this button right here, it will put it into the task storage like that. So right now I can keep it there and I can complete it whenever I'm ready. But of course I need to assign a new task. However, before I'm going to assign a new task, I want to do some stuff in game. So I'm going to keep it a mystery for us all. We're not going to assign a new task yet, but we will later in the episode. Since the start of episode 1, I have only been focusing on completing my current combat assignment as fast as possible, but sometimes it is easy to forget that the game has more to offer than just combat tasks. If I want to be more efficient in the future, I need to be prepared. That is why I'm going on a little side adventure to get some quality of life upgrades for the account. So I set myself the following mini goals. First of all, get the Ardy Cloak 1. Then, get access to Fairy Rings. Obtain a ruby amulet from Ham's storerooms and get iron gloves from the Recipe for Disaster quest. We are starting off with Plague City, after that Biohazard and then we can do the RD Easy Diaries for the Cape. Alright, here is Plague City done, I got some mining experience and I can now teleport to RD, which is very useful. Let's read the scroll. And there we go, got the spell. And now it's time to complete the second quest, Biohazard, and then I can do the RD Easy Diaries. Here we go. That was the final task, so I can now claim my first reward, the RD Cloak. Isn't it beautiful? Now I do also have an antique lamp, and normally I would use this on Herblore, but you need level 30 uh, in the skill, and I don't have that yet, so I'm gonna go with Slayer. I know for sure I will need more Slayer levels in the future for more tasks, so let's go with that. Confirm Slayer. Now the next goal on the list is to go for Fairy Rings, and for this I have to do some pre-quests like Nature Spirit and Lost City, and then also Fairy Tale Part 1 and Start Part 2. So that's quite a bit, but we're gonna go and do it. There we go, finished a maze random event. What will we get from this? Mithril or Steel Arrows, Nature Runes, not too great. Alright, that's the end of Nature Spirit. This will give us some crafting experience and we actually need level 31 to do the Lost City. So I'm gonna do Elemental Workshop Part 1 now to get that experience for free. This literally took 3 minutes I think. Yep, was worth it. So let's see, we got 32 crafting that is enough to do the Lost City. We kill the spirit, and now we can chop the tree, and there is Lost City completed. 
To proceed in fairy tale part 1, I need red spider eggs, a slimy eel, and a bunch of grapes. The grapes are no problem, the red spider eggs are no, are no problem, but the uh, slimy eel I need 28 fishing. So I'm gonna look for a quest that I can do to boost up my fishing a little bit and then catch the fish. We quickly completed sea slug and this will get, give us like 7000 experience, here we go. And we now have level 25 fishing, only 3 levels left. There we have it, level 28, let's go. In order to cook a slimy eel, I need 20 cooking as well. And I'm using this sardine method that I really like for a low level cooking. I basically just buy a full inventory there and then I drop everything and I too take the fish. Just I explained, as I explained in a couple episodes ago. And it's not too bad XP for the early cooking levels, so let's do this till 28. The magic secateurs are mine. Wait a second. Did I need a raw slimy eel? I think I did. I brought one just in case, but I actually, I, I lost the one that was raw, so, oh my goodness. Well, okay, no problem. I trained some cooking. We killed the big tangle root. Isn't it great, my friends? 3.5k farming experience as well, so we are now level 18 for free. Finally, I unlocked fairy rings. I cannot actually complete this quest, but I just wanted to do it until the part that I can use this because now I have the golden combination, the RD Cloak 1 and the Draymond Staff, and of course, fairy ring transportation is going to help me a lot. In preparation for death to the Dorgashen, we need two sets of ham robes. We got two pieces of everything except the cape. We need literally two capes. I've pickpocketed about 300 plus ham members now, it's going very slowly. We just got 36 thieving. Hopefully I can be a little lucky on the capes now so it won't take too much longer. Alright, you may call me stupid for not knowing this, but apparently if you first start the quest, the drop rate increases massively of getting these pieces from stealing ham members. Why didn't I just know that from the beginning? Let's go and start the quest and see if this is actually true. Literally three pickpockets in and I got one cape already. Okay. Finally, oh man, I think I literally spent an hour here. The second cape took a lot longer than the first one. Oh man, I'm happy that I'm done now with that. 47 attack and 60 combat during the boss battle. Death to the Dorkshin completed. I now have access to the Hem storerooms. Yes, we finally got it. The ruby necklace, or I mean the ruby amulet. That means we can now enchant that for a strength amulet. I will finish these keys. Maybe we can get a power emmy as well, but this was the one I was looking for. Great. I got some items to enchant here. We got some games necklaces, dual rings, recoil rings, and a magic defense and strength amulet. Let's start off with the most important one. Here we go. An emmy of strength. Let's do Cook Assistant. I got all the ingredients already, so here we go. Quest completed. I got all the ingredients for the first part of Recipe for Disaster. Like the introduction part, so let's do that real quick and then continue with the quest. We got the Dwarven Rock Cake. Let's use that and there is the first part completed. And here we have another meal, this time for the Goblins. And that means we've now completed part 2. Level 20 farming as well, nice. Hmm, okay, so for the Pirate Pete part, I thought I only needed 31 cooking, but it turns out you also need 42 crafting for making a fish bowl. Um, that's a little bit too far off right now, so I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. If we go to buy items now, we can buy uh, iron gloves, which is not the best, but it is a start, and of course, eventually we will get uh, 2D Barrows gloves, but it's at least something. So it may not look like much, but these are actually some pretty good upgrades. We got the Monastery uh, Teleport with the Arty Cloak. We got the Fairy Ring Axis, so with in combination with the Cape, we can get there very quickly. We got a plus 10 Strength bonus thanks to the, the Amulet of Strength. And we got another plus 3, I believe, plus bonus for the Iron Gloves. Let me see. Um, where is it again? Strength Melee plus 20, plus 23. So that's another plus three bonus so i'm really happy with this of course we need to get more upgrades in the future but yep we're getting there and now i want to do one final thing before we actually go and get ourselves a new combat task i want to clean up my bank because this is a mess 
Well, there we go. We can finally assign ourselves a task again. As you may remember, of course, the Seragnus Novus is in the task storage, so we don't have to do that right now. But the task we do assign right now, there's no way to avoid that unless I pay the total fee of 600k. Otherwise, we're going to have to go and do the task that will be rolled. So let's go. Three, two, one, assign. Temporos Novice. Subdue the Temporos five times. Hey, that's quite easy. In order to play Temporos, we need level 35 fishing and we are 30 at the moment, so that is the next thing that I'm going to do. But I'm going to leave that for the next episode. We have only completed one task today, but we did so much on the side. Very important upgrades that will really help us to complete future tasks. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're very close to 60,000 subscribers on the channel. Would be amazing to reach that. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.